the United Dairy Industry of Michigan, we work on behalf of Michigan's nearly 1,200 dairy farm families who work to care for their animals and land every single day and bring you nutritious and delicious dairy foods. If you want to learn more about dairy farming, find recipes, and learn how dairy plays a really important part in our diet, visit our website, www.milkmeansmore.org. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Dairy farmers are very passionate about caring for their cows. On this tour, we will learn how dairy farmers take care of their cows to keep them healthy. We will spend time in a freestyle barn and even see some of the technology dairy farmers use to keep track of their cows' activity. We're on the west side of Michigan at Sand Creek Dairy with Ethan Haywood. He's gonna start by telling us a little bit about his dairy farm. So we've been farming here in Hastings for over a hundred years. I am a sixth generation farmer and I'm lucky to farm with my parents and my grandparents and two of my brothers right now. Um, we have a team of about 30 people here to take care of a thousand cows and all of the crops that it takes to feed them on a yearly basis. And uh, we are in a freestall barn here right now. This is the same type of housing that all of our cows are in. They're in large groups of 60 to 100 animals. They're allowed to socially mingle and we're actually having breakfast right now down the mm -hmm. row. A hundred years, that's, that's a long time that your family's been committed to caring for cows. That's, that's a great family tradition. How many cows do you have on your farm? So we have about a thousand cows on farm. Um, back when my grandpa was milking them by hand, he had about 13 and we were putting it into steel cans and trying to cool the cans with water. Um, so things have come a long way and you're going to see a lot of technology today that's quite different than it was 100 years ago, um, making the same product, but now we're making it a lot more efficiently, a lot more environmentally friendly, and it's still a great healthy product. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. And, and, and it sounds like you guys have come a long way. I think our folks today are going to be really interested in hearing about that technology and that progression um, that, that your family's made uh, to care for your cows and, and to bring milk to our family. So really excited to hear more, more about that. So uh, Ethan, you mentioned that you're in a barn. Can you talk to us about the shelter and the environment that you've created for your cows? Yeah, absolutely. So we call it a freestall barn. You can see in the pens, what they have is sand beds that they can lay in. Those stay very clean, stay very comfortable. They stay cool in the summer. And then we have an open peak roof so that we can get good airflow through the barn. On the sides are curtains. So whenever it's cold or raining, the curtains have sensors and automatically close. Whenever it's warm or hot, the curtains open up and then the fans turn on automatically. And that's all based on thermostats so that we try and maintain cows like it a little bit cooler than us. This cool morning is absolutely awesome for them. Um, they're making a lot of milk right now. They are eating a lot right now and they're super comfortable with this cool fall weather. <laughs> we're, we're up close and personal with a couple of them right there. So um, right off the bat, you started talking about technology and those curtains and those fans. And um, you mentioned that you've got some technology uh, with you as well. Do you want to show that now? Yeah, absolutely. So in addition to the controlling the climate for the cows, trying to provide them shelter, especially in Michigan winters and Michigan summers, you know, there's a lot of variance. We try and keep them comfortable. We can also gauge how comfortable they are because each cow has uh, one of these. We call it an affy, but it's basically like a Fitbit. It goes around their front ankle and every cow will have one. And what it's doing is it's counting the steps and it's tracking when during the day that they're active. So if a cow's not feeling well, we get an alert to the computer and to our phone. Okay, her steps are down. She's spending a lot of time laying down. We can go check that out. There's also other models where it's monitoring her temperature. And then it also functions as an ID tag. Every time she goes into the milking parlor to get milked, we track how much milk comes out. What is the quality of that milk? How fast does that milk come out? And that can give us very early indicators on if a cow is not feeling well or not. And then we have a specialized group of people here at the farm. We call them our hospital crew. And they go around and check her out, take her temperature, and just see what's going on with her. If her production's down or her steps are down or she's stressed about something. And we can pull all of that through the computers and use technology to communicate all that back, make a list, and check on our girls. Wow, that's, that's insane how much information that you're collecting on each animal every single day. So yeah, there's a, a ton of information. And what we try and do as a farm group is try and organize it all and make it all 
uh, usable. And that mm -hmm. requires a lot of computer technology that we weren't using a few years ago. Yeah, absolutely. It's part of those advancements that, that you've been able to make and part of bringing that technology. I mean, we all love technology, right? We're on technology right now. And so you're bringing it to your team who can then take better care of your cows. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. What are those fences or gates uh, that the cows are eating through? Yeah, so these are called a headlock. You can see these ones here. What we can do is when we need to work with a specific cow, we can lock those and then they stay standing in place. And that allows us to keep the cows in social groups. Cows are very social animals. They don't like being isolated, just one cow. They want to be in a group. So that way we can lock the pen. We can help someone that needs it. We can look at someone. We can move someone around and then unlock the pen. No moving them out of the pen themselves. Mm -hmm. um, that way it's really easy for the cows and easy for the people. They have access to feed all the time, access to water all the time. Um, when it's hot in that milking parlor, we have a ton of fans and we have sprinklers. So actually every 15 minutes in the parlor, we'll be spraying them with sprinklers from the top. And out here in the pens, every five minutes, if it's above 80 degrees, we're spraying them with sprinklers, keep them cooled down. And then that fan, just like if you get in the swimming pool and get out, once you have that water on you, the fan really cools you down really quickly. They're much more comfortable and much happier. Wow, it sounds like you do take a lot of steps to keep them cool, keep them comfortable. And, and that comes from a lot of research over the decades that your family has been in, in the dairy business. Yeah, absolutely. There's a ton of scientific uh, research behind what we do. And there's people constantly trying to improve what we're doing for cows every day. And our goal, number one goal is to keep our cows comfortable and keep them healthy. And our number two goal is to produce a healthy product for our people that are doing that work for the cows. If you have questions about dairy farming that we didn't answer today in this video, we have more farm tours and a frequently asked questions document on our website. Thank you for joining us for the tour.